to Clark's Christmas countdown. I hope you're all well and okay. This week is all about decorations, but not Christmas tree decorations. So this week I'm going to attempt to make some homemade decorations that I can put up and about around the house just to make it feel a little bit festive before December because we won't be putting our Christmas tree up until the last weekend in November after Grace's birthday. So I'm going to make a garland for a uh, fireplace. Now I brought this quite a while ago at Hobbycraft. So I brought this basically. So it's a garland. It's 1.8 metres. I don't need it that long so I'm going to have to cut it down. I have some pine cones to stick in there to make it look festive. I also have some of these to stick in as well. Um, I have got more of these but I seem to have misplaced them and I don't know where I've put them. I'm trying ever so hard to find them and I can't find them anywhere. Um, I'm going to have to ask the kids if they've moved them <laughs> because I've looked and looked and looked and I cannot find them anywhere. I also got these from Poundland which are just some nice stars and I've got some lights to go in there. I have got some more lights as well to put in there so I'm going to try and make that. I've also got some stars from Ikea. These are quite big stars but I'm going to put these up and I'm going to decorate my radiator cover with those. I've already got some bits on my radiator cover which I'll show you at the end. I'll show you everything that we've made at the end. I'm also going to make a string snowman. I'll put a picture in here to show you what I think I want, it, what I'm hoping it will turn out like. I've got my PVA glue. And I'm going to make a couple of those. I've also got some garland ties just in the hopes to make my garland that little bit fluffier and bigger. But I'm going to show you my attempt at making some Christmas decorations because I just want the house to feel a little bit festive before we put the tree up. And I'm really keen on doing homemade this year rather than buying because let's face it nobody's got loads of money just to throw away so i'm very keen on just making things and plus i think i made a garland for um autumn i made like an autumnal garland and i loved it i really enjoyed making it and i thought it looked lovely and adam was really impressed he was like that's actually really good i was like thanks so i'm going to try and make a christmas garland so i hope you enjoy this video i hope you get lots of inspiration and i will show you everything i've done at the end I want the kids to help me with the snowman because I just think it's quite a lovely festive little um, task. Yeah. So Grace is currently blowing the balloons up. Um, I'm just midway making my garland. So I'm going to carry on because I want to get the garland finished and then I can help the kids with the glue and stuff.
right it's the next day now and we've had a little bit of a fail the snowman i just do not think is gonna work i think dried like I, th I feel like maybe possibly if I pop the balloons it would possibly work but I just I think I've done it wrong I saw loads of different ways to do it and I saw this way where you attach the two balloons together um, but I think I should have done the balloons separately I think it would have made better balls and it would have been easier to do because my biggest issue was having the balloons stuck together so I'm, I'm gonna give up on it for this video but I am gonna try and do it again um, maybe next week because I really want one but I'm gonna do it where I do one balloon wrap that up and then do another balloon and then wrap that one up and then worry about sticking them together after but I have got another craft idea which includes it's a table centerpiece that I've wanted to do for absolutely ages I saw it on Pinterest and it includes these so i'm going to do that one as well now so that i can get my table all set up and ready for the festive season and that's my plan anyway so i'll show you that one obviously my garland's done i'll show you everything once i've finished again but i'm going to do this centerpiece now my centerpiece I'm really happy with it I kind of expanded on my idea of what I wanted to do and I still need to get some lights but I haven't got any lights sadly at the moment um, but I'm going to get them but here's my table I just think it looks so pretty and I could put a candle in here as well if I wanted just to change it up a little bit through the month but yeah I'm really happy with it so this was made out of the rest of the garland because the garland was a little bit too long for the fireplace and that's what I did I made it out of the rest of that so I'm going to put some lights on it and probably put a few other bits in but I haven't got them in at the moment which is a little bit sad I've also put a few decorations on my radiator cover which I will show you so I've had this little reindeer for a really long time I got it from Sainsbury's but these are new so these stars are from Ikea and then the gonks are from Poundland and these are from Ikea as well and there will be lights on here but not just yet I'm just starting to add just a little bit of decorations in so that this house starts to feel a little bit Christmassy before we put everything up so thank you so much for watching i hope that's given you some ideas just to make a few homemade decorations so that they don't cost the earth and just to make your house feel that little bit festive before december like i said we're not putting our christmas tree up until about the 28th of november the last weekend in november so this is just little bits just to start making us feel that little bit more christmasy through november because why not <laughs> 
I feel like everybody on my Facebook has got their Christmas tree up, but we won't do it till after Grace's birthday. But thank you so much for watching. Comment down below if you're going to have a go at any of the crafts and let me know if you've got your tree up yet. 